In class activity three, frequency response design. Design a digital control system with a lead compensator so that the system has a settling time less than one second, a 20% overshoot and a steady state error less than 12.5%. The sampling period is T equal to 0.1 second. We're going to do this one by using a lead compensator to increase the phase margin where the digital plant is G of Z is equal to 0.5 Z plus 0.5 over Z minus 0.5 times Z minus 0.9 and the form of the lead compensator is K times Z minus A over Z minus B. So the first thing we're going to do is use a bilinear transformation. We had this table at the beginning of this lecture so that we can apply S domain plane analysis design techniques to the digital system. So what we will do is design on the S plane and then convert the results to the digital system with the same properties. So the first thing we're going to have is is equal to g of z, where z is equal to 2 over t plus omega divided by 2 over t minus omega, which equals 0 0.5 times 20 plus omega times 20 minus omega plus 0 0.5 times 20 minus omega squared divided by 20 plus omega minus 0 0.5 times 20 minus omega times 20 plus omega minus 0 0.9 times 20 minus omega. And that all simplifies to 400 minus 20 omega divided by 1 plus 1.5 omega plus 10 times 1.9 omega plus 2. Recall that we've already substituted into this expression t is equal to 0 0.1. So now let's look at our design specifications. We have that zeta is greater than or equal to 0 0.6 times 1 minus 0 0.2, which we've done several times this lecture. So we know that that's 0 0.48. So we're going to let zeta equal 0 0.5. And we know that the settling time is equal to 4.6 over zeta omega n, and that equals one. So from that, we can get that omega n must equal 9.2. We are going to make this omega max or our gain crossover frequency. So next we're going to use the steady state error to find k. So note that k g of z is equal to k times 0 0.5 z plus 0 0.5 over z minus 0 0.5 times z minus 0 0.9. So since we had an error of 12.5%, that is 0 0.125 or 1 over 8, which equals 1 over one plus KP. So this means that KP must equal seven, where KP is equal to K G of one. So we're going to have K times 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 over one minus 0 0.5 times one minus 0 0.9. And when we solve for k, we get that k must equal 0 0.35. So we can use this k in order to generate the Bode plot. And we are going to need some information from that. So we'll take a closer look at the Bode plot in just a moment. 
But now let's figure out what our phase margin has to be based upon our desired damping ratio. So the phase margin is equal to 90 minus the arc tangent of the quantity, the square root of negative two zeta squared plus the square root of one plus four zeta to the fourth over two zeta and that equals 51 degrees. So what we're gonna have here for the bilinear transformation is K G of omega is equal to 0 0.35 times 20 times 20 minus omega over 1.5 omega plus 10 and 1.9 omega plus two, which simplifies to negative seven omega plus 140 over 2.85 omega squared plus 22 omega plus 20. And we're going to make the Bode plot for this one. So let's go take a look at the Bode plot. So here on the left, we have the Bode plot for kg of omega. So you see this expression is the same one that I just wrote. And what you see here is remember we wanted our desired crossover frequency to be at nine radians per second. So here is omega GC, which was omega N. And we have a magnitude of negative 5.54 decibels. So then we drop down and we see that our phase margin at omega GC is 180 minus 161 or 19 degrees. So now we're going to use this to calculate our v, v max. So V max is equal to our desired phase margin minus our actual phase margin plus five. So that is 51 minus 19 plus five, which equals 35 degrees. So from that we calculate alpha. Alpha is equal to one minus sine phi max over one plus sine phi max, which equals 0 0.27. T is equal to one over omega max, which we know is nine times the square root of alpha. So T is equal to 0 0.213. So we now have all of the terms we need to build the controller where we have K equal to 0 0.35 times T omega, 0 0.213 omega plus one, divided by alpha T omega, which is 0 0.058 omega plus one. We call this is K times T omega plus one, divided by alpha T omega plus one. So then the last step we do is we do another bilinear transformation to convert this back to the Z domain. So GC of Z equals GCO of omega, where omega is equal to two over T times Z minus one over Z plus one. And that equals 0 0.896. times Z minus 0 0.621 over Z minus 0 0.074. Okay, now let's take the compensated Bode plot and the step response. So here's our lead compensated Bode plot. 
And what you should see here now, at nine radians per second, our new phase margin, 180 minus 126, is approximately 51 degrees. And then to check our other specifications, we're going to go look at the step response. Here's our feedback control system with our digital controller and our plant. And our specification was 20% overshoot. And so what you should see here is we do have a little less than a 20% overshoot. Our other specification was a steady state error less than 12.5%. And it appears that we also are meeting that requirement here. And a settling time less than one second, where here's our one second, so we're also meeting that one as well. And this concludes today's lecture on discrete time systems digital control design.